It is almost time for the 140th annual Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show, and this year you might notice some new faces in the show. Organizers have introduced seven new breeds that will join the competition for the very first time. Gail Beicher with the Westminster Kennel Club is here now to talk about their big debut. Gail, thanks so much for being here. I love dogs. I love this show. Tell us a little bit about some of these new breeds. Well, we have seven new breeds. It's very exciting. Uh, the first one is the Berger Picard, which is actually the oldest French herding breed. Uh, they're a wonderful breed that has a low maintenance coat. They're easy to take care of. They're very trainable and they make wonderful companions. Sounds like a great pet and a great mm -hmm. show dog as well, That's right? right? That's right. We also have the Logoro Romagnolo, which is an Italian breed. They have a dark, dense curly coat. They are uh, originally were bred to hunt as a general hunter, but then they became specialized and now they're truffle hunters. There's also the miniature American Shepherd, which is a wonderful herding breed that's from the United States originally, and they're highly intelligent, versatile herding dog. They love to work and they make a great companion as well, and they'll be in the herding group. What a beautiful coat. And then tell me about the Borbell. The Borbel is wonderful. They're joining the working group, and they're actually um, from South Africa originally as an all-around farm dog, but because of their strength, they were used as being protectors of the farm. And so they're, they're a lovely breed. They'll be uh, obviously low maintenance, but they're a strong dog. They need to be socialized and trained uh, early. They look like a powerful <laughs> breed. And now we do love the videos of the dog, but we have some of the real thing here. Tell us about some of our models here. Well, here we have a Cherneco Dolette. Now, this is Pisa. Hi, Pisa. Hi, pretty girl. Come here. <laughs> and this is an ancient Egyptian breed that was actually brought to Sicily over 2,500 years ago by the Phoenicians. She is beautiful. And what will the judges be looking for when they're judging one of these dogs? Well, she's a sight hound, and she was bred to, to hunt small game. So they'll be looking at the overall balance of the dog. They'll be looking at the structure of her, of her uh, shoulder layback and her rear assembly. As we call it, they'll be watching her gait, her head structure. What makes her a Cherneco? Does she look like a Cherneco? Does she move like a Cherneco? She seems very focused today and ready to go. <laughs> I think this is a great practice round for her. Thank you so much for bringing her in. Pisa, thank you. Next. And then who is this fluffy beauty? This is Mona. She's a Spanish Hi, Mona. water dog. Hi. And the Spanish water dog is actually joining the herding group. But um, don't let the name fool you. They can. They were uh, wonderful with working with fishermen and farmers alike. They're a very versatile hunting breed. They have a beautiful coat. They come in many colors, and they're very trainable and easygoing companion. They're a wonderful breed. What's the secret to maintaining a coat like this? Well, this coat can actually cord if left to grow. Okay. So it can become corded. All right. There's Thank you. very little grooming here. Let them grow. Awesome. Let it grow. Thank you so much for bringing her in. And then speaking about coats, <laughs> I mean, every now and then I wake up in the morning looking like this. It's not usually what I'm going for, but in this case, this is what we are going for with this dog, right? This is the Bergamasco. <laughs> and they do have a very unique coat. They have a triple coat, actually. So this coat will cords, and as she gets older, she's two and a half. And she's what is her name? Her. Whoopay. Hi, Whoopay. Whoopay, come here. As she ages, her coat will grow in length and, and go to the ground almost. The, the dreads will keep growing. So I love her. It's a protective feature of this herding dog. She looks like she's very happy to be she sporting all of that happy. coat as well. It's a good month for it. Thank you so much for bringing her in. And walk us through a little bit. What goes into making these decisions and deciding to bring in a new breed? Well, sometimes we call them new breed, but they're actually ancient. These three breeds are all very old breeds in other parts of the country. They're just gaining popularity in, in the United States, mm. and they just last year gained AKC breed recognition. And then quickly, so, where is the show? How can people get tickets? And what can people expect? Well, we kick off Westminster Week with our meet and compete event. And then we have that dog show. You can get tickets at thegarden.com. It's going to be televised. All the information is on westminsterkennelclub.org. Gail, thank you so much for being on. To the dog owners, thank you so much for bringing in the dogs. For more information on the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show, you can head to our website, cbsnewyork.com. We'll be right back.